Hey guys, you're here for an easy way to have infinite surprise attack. Surprise attack is a charge with light mod. Reloading or switching to a sidearm will consume all charge with light and grant charged magazine. Each damaging bullet takes away a stack of charged magazine, but also deals double damage. This is a pretty crazy mod because it stacks with all other buffs. For this, you need to be charged with light. Swift Charge grants Charge with Light on sidearm multi-kills, so that's a good option or stick with the default. This will freeze your counter, allowing you to do double damage as much as you want. You can even go back to the previous area and still have the glitch. Normal ways to deactivate break this glitch, such as switching off of a sidearm or dying. For this glitch, by using a tincture of Queen's Foil, it will lock your charged magazine buff for your current mission, at least for 30 minutes until it wears off, making it really useful. Say you switched to Heavy and lost your charged magazine. Just get charged with Light, and you still have the infinite surprise attack glitch. This allows you to dominate in all PvE activities and Gambit. This does not work in PvP. If you have a Bubble Sentinel with a Press of Darkness, you can stack both of those with Surprise Attack to flat out melt bosses. Devil's Ruin is a good choice since it can also stagger unstoppable champions. But it also stacks with perks like Rampage, Multi-Kill Clip, and Swashbuckler, making any sidearm a force to be reckoned with. Another good option is adding High Energy Fire. Get charged with Light while you have Infinite Surprise Attack going for a temporary boost to weapon damage. If you have Charged Magazine already, it won't waste your charge with light stacks. A great exotic to use on Hunter is Aeon Swift. Dodging grants energy to nearby cultists. Just kidding. Aeon cultists aren't real. They can't hurt you. A good exotic to use is Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves. While in red bar health, switching to a sidearm increases damage. This can allow for some crazy damage on a single magazine, kicking the crap out of tech witches. Definitely fun for Gambit. If you are using trick sleeves, I would consider using double sidearms so you can activate the buff without losing charged magazine. Some more about Tinctures of Queen's Foil. These are given randomly from Dreaming City activities, but you can also buy them, so it's not really DLC locked. Just buy Baryon Bow from the Spider if needed. Then go to the hidden vendor that charges 50 Baryon Bow for a Tincture. When you have 5, he will ignore you. That's the stack limit. Also, make sure you have an open slot to receive the Tincture, otherwise you can get screwed out of the materials and the Tincture won't go to your Postmaster. That means you can keep this going for 5 activities, or less if your activity lasts more than 30 minutes, and you have to use another one. Which might be needed if you're using this in a long Grandmaster Nightfall, or farming contact public events. Special thanks to Luna Goddess for this. Cheese forever, Guardian.